I recently completed my degree at Smenkosa, Bachelor of Commerce in Information and Technology Management. Do I think it was worth it? Hmm, let's talk about it. First things first, we got a sip of coffee. We call this the coding juice. Ah, now that I'm caffeinated, let's talk about it. So, uh, I've been studying at Menkosa for four years. Uh, I first did my higher certificate in information technology and QF level five. And then after finishing that, I was able to qualify for an NQF level seven. I was able to qualify to basically study a degree for a degree, Bachelor of Commerce in Information and Technology Management. So, was it worth it? Mm, now nah, let's first let's, let's let's first just talk about uh, the good things and the bad things about studying at Menkosa. Just first talk about Menkosa before we even get to the qualification. I'll just speak about uh, Menkosa, my experience there. This is my experience, not another person's experience. Some people had good experiences. Some people had bad experience, and I can't speak for those people. I can only speak for this guy, the guy that you are watching guy that you must hey man subscribe like the video the guy that you have just liked the video the owner of the channel so yeah my experience with Menkosa has been good overall i just say good overall but here are the downsides or at least the downsides i've experienced and the upsides level the advantages and disadvantages things i didn't like and the things i like so what i didn't like was the the waiting times whenever you call student services Yo, I is all in. When you have to call student services, who's all in? And not to mention when uh results are about to be released, just know you're going to wait. You'll be sitting there waiting. If you you must probably buy uh minutes, you must buy minutes from your network provider. Because if you don't buy minutes and you're using your airtime, airtime is going to get chow up until it's chai. <laughs> Yeah, but your airtime is going to get child uh, if you're just going to use airtime. So I suggest buying uh, mama minutes, buying minutes, so that you're able to wait comfortably, you know, at least one hour. Buy at least one hour because you'll wait a long time. Another thing that's both a good thing and a bad thing is that they cater a lot for distance learning students. You know, distance learning students. So that means they cater mostly for people who are working. That's both good and bad for someone who's young, at least. I mean, I'm from someone from the from perspective of someone who, who was young, straight out of high school. It wasn't the best thing, but because uh, I've already I already had built up uh, discipline because I first did my hands in my hands of kids, uh, it wasn't really a problem. I was able to utilize that time and gain other skills, you know, and gain other skills. So yeah, they care a lot for people who are who are working full time jobs. So there can be both a plus or a negative, depending on who you are. And the positive, and the biggest positive positive out of all is that it's a private institution. And if it's a private institution, it means they're able to cater for your needs. If there's something wrong, you're able to speak to the to people, you're able to speak to people to, to the guys who work there and you are able to work something out because you know they are a private uh institution and therefore customer service is is generally good generally you might have a bad experience but generally it's a good experience so now now this is for me like what men cause it just because now let's talk about uh, their qualification bachelor of commerce in information and technology management which is nqf level seven yeah which is nqf level seven so let's talk about it so personally for me i feel like i got my money's worth when it comes to the qualification so why am i saying i got my money's worth uh coming basically my goal when i when, when i enrolled i knew that when i finish i'll probably become a software developer i knew okay my, my goal is to become a software developer and by the time i started the degree not the hassle but by the time i started the degree i already knew I was already doing the basics of programming and this and that, and I already knew that it was a skill. And if it's a skill, it means I can teach myself how to code. I do not need Menkosa to teach me how to code. I can already code. And so Udemy, shout out to Udemy. I can shout out to Udemy, Angela, you. Uh, I can already code, or I know the basics, the pure, pure basics. 
thanks to Udemy. Therefore, I did not need them to teach me to code. If you want to learn to like code and you want to be an IT person, then maybe this qualification from my experience is not for you because we don't do a lot of coding. Most of the stuff here is theoretical. Even though it's not, not everything is theoretical, but most of the stuff is kind of is theoretical. It's, it's up on you. You know, you have to actually do or practice whatever you're learning yourself to get like the most out of it, to choose every single way to extract as much value as you can from whatever you learn or whatever module you're doing. You have to practice it yourself. So if you want to become a software developer, I'll say mm, maybe go elsewhere where you they'll just do programming and stuff like that. Because here yeah, it's just business. It's business IT from a manager's perspective. Business IT from a manager's perspective plus coding related stuff. You know, business, uh, IT management from an IT management perspective from, from an IT manager's perspective and a little, bit, a little bit of coding and coding related stuff. So yeah, I mean, most of the stuff I learned from this degree was stuff I didn't know because I didn't do uh, e-commerce when I was in high school. I did IT <laughs> when I was in high school, funny enough, and physics. So for me, I just learned a lot. Economics was nice. Business management, nice. Accounting, stressful, but nice. Especially because I included, and I say, high school when I did in grade nine. But yeah, I was able to pick up my socks, you know, and just... Yeah, so for me, for me, like, this degree i learned a lot from it so i got i feel like i got my money's worth you know and when it comes to the fact that i want to become a software developer i just took it upon myself to teach myself out i take it upon myself to teach myself outside uh of main course so now i'm i've already done data structures and i know this is the, like for someone who's just wants to enroll in course but that, he was not interested in software development he's like what is he talking about but yeah, I'm talking about from a software perspective was that's what I want to be. Uh, I was able to teach myself that stuff on the side because Mencosa is very, if you're going to study Mencosa, guys, it's very flexible. There. You are able to throw stuff on your spare time. So I mean, I made sure that I use my spare time to teach myself coding stuff. And yeah, now that I've, I'm done, at least I know I've already done the basics. I know JavaScript. I know, you know, when I say I know, I mean, I'm just the basics and just been good enough in from just been good enough with javascript and this and that so yeah so basically for me that it, it, it was like that which i knew that programming is a skill and i can teach myself that and another thing this like it's even in the name of the qualification it's a bachelor of commerce in information and technology management so if, if you know you know and management so basically it manager you want to become your goal to basically become an it manager at least that's one of my goals because i don't see myself programming forever at some point i, I want to become a manager because i'm also like the business the way they because i'm also interested in business tactics you know other, other, just other stuff i don't see myself being a programmer forever i like almost a bit of everything in it i like most of them not just interested in programming or software development no i also like other parts of it and i also like business you know i just like business so i knew that's okay very the goal is not to just become a programmer and become the best programmer the goal is to go up to advance in my career become a programmer then from programmer to this to that to just you know to not just be a programmer so yeah for me and for local at least in my opinion, at least for now, I feel like all right. And even though I haven't landed a job yet, uh, I feel like local has to do with uh, my skill as a developer and the fact that I'm not 100% confident yet. Uh, I'm not 100% confident yet for applying for jobs, job, jobs. Internship roles, okay, obviously I'll apply for that. But like job, 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 jobs. Now, nah, like, ish. Let, 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 let me learn C sharp first, then I, yeah, I can apply. Let me create this project and finish it, then I apply. But overall, when I'm talking about the budget of commerce and information technology, Edmund Corsa, if I have to rate it from a scale of 1 to 10, uh, my experience there, everything combined, I'll give it a 7 or 8 out of 10. You know, I really feel like I did get my money's worth and I did learn a lot, especially when it comes to databases and normalization. I wasn't really 
familiar with that stuff. I just did the normal queries about join, left, join, and my index, who tells her index, and my tits. Like, it's not as as any ever since. Now I'm speaking my vernacular. Now I'm speaking vernacular. Basically, uh, there was a lot of stuff I didn't know about uh, databases. So this course just exposed me to that. And there was a, even a lot more stuff I didn't know about IT from a manager's perspective. You know, IT from a manager's perspective. So I also learned a lot from that. In When I'm talking about IT from a manager's perspective, basically using IT to to increase efficiency, you know, in the business and IT to increase efficiency. Yeah, basically there. So I did learn a lot of stuff for my qualification and I think you think Mencosa is a good institution. So should you study them? And my answer to that, it depends. It depends on what you want. Just depends on what you want. For me, what I wanted, I got my money's worth. For what you may want, maybe you won't get your money's worth. If you want to become a software developer, I would say, mm -mm, mm -mm, unless you are prepared to Go the extra mile and teach programming and teach yourself programming outside of Mencosa, you know, outside of Mencosa. But if you are someone who's working a full time job, uh, someone who's working a full time job and you need an institution to study Bachelor of Commerce in Info, I think Bachelor of Commerce in Information and Technology Management, I think then uh, Mencosa is your institution. So, yeah, for me, I got my money's worth. Should you study that? Depends on what you really trying to achieve. But for me, this was. It's been good, still good, and we'll probably do a now an honors and from honors going to masters. But now for, for just for now, I'll first go to get a job. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a poor opinion or you should like to share your experience at Mencosa, drop a comment because I have finished my degree in Bachelor of Commerce in Information and Technology Management. I received my uh finished when Jan or December, I don't know when, Jan or December, but yeah. Basically, I've finished. I've done my certificate at Mencosa. I've done my Bachelor of Commerce in Information Security Management at Mencosa. So I'm very <laughs> qualified to speak about this. If you, if, you, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm very qualified.